now we've got ModX set up, we can create our website. So we could write it from scratch, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use a template, a free template. And I've gone to html5up.net to get that template, get a free template. So let's have a look at alpha, this alpha template. So that looks very nice, modern looking. And drop down menu. Let's see what it looks like in a tablet. Yep, that works. Tablet portrait. Yeah, that's good. And on a mobile. Very nice. Okay, let's download that. Right, so this is what we've downloaded. So it's the same website, but the images, the images have been changed with these sort of grayed out, grayed out images. So I've taken those template files and I've made one change. I've added a, a background image, a more interesting background image in again. And I did that by finding out where the image was referenced in the files that we downloaded. So to do that I use Firefox and if you hit the F12 button you open Firebug and Firebug is where you can find out all the stuff that's in the HTML and CSS. Um, so if you click that button and then click on the area that you want to find out about so that's highlighted the background image. It's in this section with the ID banner. So if we have a look at the CSS associated with that section, we can see background image. So if we turn the background image off, it disappears. So I found this before and I changed the text to my the name of my image which uh, I'd found as another free free image I found on the internet called and I call that banner new and I substituted that in the styles css file which is in in the files in the css so it's this file I just edited that with my new image. So what we need to do is move all these files, all the relevant files that we've downloaded to the ModX website and put them in the right place that works with ModX. So we'll do that in the next lesson.